this is a tutorial on how to install VMware Fusion. Now, what you do is you open up Safari. It's basically to run Windows inside of your Mac. But so you type in VMware Fusion in Google. Then you're going to want to click here or here. If you have this option, it will say vmware.com slash download slash fusion. Now, I'm just going to show you. If you don't have that, then I'm just going to show you the where to download it from. Now, if you go from here, you're going to want to go to products, desktop products. Click on VMware Fusion. And you click get free trial. Then you sign in, sign out, whatever you want to do. You then you click or you register, log in. Then you click uh, continue, and then you, it downloads. But after it's done downloading, whoops, accidentally opened up GarageBand. Once it's done downloading, it will say VMware Fusion. You uh, double click it, or or I don't know why double clicking is not working, but it should be on the desktop you run it it will pop up like this once it's done downloading it will normally pop up like this but then you click install VMware Fusion double click it click open click continue then you click continue continue agree continue and you type in your password for your uh, administrator account. I'm on the administrator account, but I don't, it's going to ask you no matter what. Uh, I'm going to click this because it's the only hard drive I have in here. I click install. Type in the password again. And it's preparing the disk and install. Next, it's gonna, next it's, it will ask for a serial number, which I'm getting from uh, my dad's friend from work, because his, his work has a contract with VMware. So, once it's done installing, it's pretty fast. This is, I'm running on one of the new MacBook plastic uh, MacBooks they're called MacBook 2.0 what um, so I'm a new Mac user I just got it on Thursday but I'm what? I've used VMware many times before just never on a Mac so my friend has a Mac and he just didn't want to install it You're also going to want to have an XP disk, and I have, and I have a code if I need it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to blur out that part. I'm just going to enter my serial number later. It's all succeeded. It will make a little noise. Close it. Close that. You go to the finder, or you open up finder. Should be in applications, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I am pretty new, so. Yep, it's, it's in applications. You op click VMware Fusion. I'm going to right click. Which is fun. All right, control. Cl click on mine. I'm making copy. Paste item. Uh, it didn't work before. There we go. Copying just, just uh, to open it. That's just to open it, but.
Okay, once it is installed, or if you put it on the desktop, you're going to want to double-click VMware Fusion. It will ask for a serial number. You're going to open, want to open up Safari and go to your email that you signed up with or you registered with, whatever you did. They'll send you something in your mail saying VMware Fusion Evaluation. It says activate your VMware Fusion Evaluation. Activate Evaluation now. You click on that. That's for your email. Password. Click enter. Copy your code. Or whatever it is that it sends you. This can only be used once, so. I'm having kind of trouble right now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I guess you can't just copy it. Okay, I'm going to close this window. Okay, so I'm going to type it in. It should be a four, four um, parts code. And if not, it, then I don't know. Their website must be retarded then. <laughs> but uh, sorry if that offends anyone. But click create a virtual machine. Continue. Or I have a install. I have a disk for XP. With Service Pack 3, I have uh, a number if I need to put it in. Mac accepted the disk. Once it loads, So install this operating system. I click continue. Display name. I'm just gonna have same password. It's gonna ask me for a Windows product key, and I'm gonna type in my product key. Okay, I typed in my product key, and I'm going to want to click just share home folder, because I don't know, and I'm, it says always open this virtual machine when VMware Fusion starts. I'm actually going to say, okay, well, I, it's it depends on what you want, I don't know, I, I guess I won't, because if it starts up, it'll just open and... I, I would recommend not doing that. And I'm going to save it in my virtual machine folder as Windows XP Professional. You click save. And. And it is being installed. It's installed. I'll, I'll bring. From, not, from th this point on, I'm just going to pause it and come back. Okay, so this is VMware. Um, I'm going to click remind me later. So I'm going to type in my password. Now it is installed and I can run Mac and Windows in the same machine. See, there's Windows XP. Thanks for watching.